Sermorlin is a growth hormone releasing hormone. So it works a little bit differently than ipamorlin. The sermorlin acts uh, on the hypothalamus, which actually signals to the pituitary gland to release growth hormone. So we're uptaking the signaling hormone that tells the pituitary gland to increase its growth hormone output. The great thing about sermorlin is that we'll have patients cycle on ipamorlin for six months. And since it works a little bit differently than the ipamorlin, we can have them stop to take their one month break of the ipamorlin peptide start them on Sermorlin for one month, and then they can continue their Ipamorlin after that. So they don't have to take a break and lose the benefit of the growth hormone peptides. Sermorlin has been around a little bit longer um, than Ipamorlin, uh, but it's equally as effective. It's a good alternative if patients don't tolerate the Ipamorlin. Um, but we try to put patients on Ipamorlin because it's a little more targeted, and then we can combine that with the Sermorlin on the back end. So patients can get that year-round benefit of the peptides without having to take a break. So you're still gonna see the same positive side effects, which is gonna be improved sleep, better repair and recovery from exercise, reduced inflammation, reduced joint pain. You also see a little bit of fat loss associated with the sermorlin use.